happens to people everywhere every day. An estimated 2.2 million Americans suffer from chaotic hearts. They usually come in and say, my heart's racing, or I just feel something like a jackhammer, or, um, you know, some will feel dizziness, fatigue. More frequently found in people over 60, the condition is called atrial fibrillation, or AFib. It's the most common cardiac arrhythmia that we see, the normal way the electric electricity of the heart should run, isn't running. And what that can cause is the top part is a little bit out of sync with the bottom part and it can cause some fast heart rates and irregular heart rates. Because the heart doesn't pump effectively, it can allow blood to pool, creating the potential for stroke causing clots. The tricky part is that people can go in and out of AFib. Their heart may quiver for hours, days, or weeks. It makes it difficult to diagnose with a standard EKG. An EKG in a snapshot in time, but who's to say you walk home and, and you're, you're an AFib? In suspected cases, doctors may send patients home with a monitoring device. We can send patients home with a monitor for one day, two day, even up to 30 days, and we have some implantable recorders, they look like jump drives on a computer you can put there just to see what their rhythm's doing over a long period of time. An insertable loop recorder continuously records the heart's rate and rhythm. You can put right on top of the chest and you know you can just come and upload it every three months or so and see what the rhythm's been doing. Tuning into AFib is the first step in restoring order in a chaotic heart. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.